All right, so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to add a for loop based upon our one shot that we added on the last video. So if you haven't seen the last video, you probably want to go back and watch that video, the last video right before this one on the channel. Now, um, this will be doing the for loop. So we're going to use the one shot output this time inside of the actual um, inside of the actual structure text. So again, this is in the version 32 environment. So this will be using our L. 73 of our trainer and we will be using our live push button inputs that we have on the trainer to show that so uh, without further ado let's go ahead and do this so we're going to do an if statement we're going to start okay so we're going to do this is going to be the uh, for do example Okay, so, and I always misspell example for some reason, but no worries. We'll make sure we get this stuff right. So we're gonna do an if, and then we're gonna say up here, we're gonna grab our trigger, right? Let's grab our trigger, and then we're going to use the output this time. So again, if you haven't seen how we built that, right? We didn't see how we did that, go back to the other video, because I don't want you to miss out on, on any knowledge that we're doing or passing on so I want to make sure, make sure you get that then we're going to uh, come in here to the very next section what we're going to do is we're going to do a four okay so a four this is what we're going to do a four and we're going to add in an index so we're going to do a dent okay for this uh, but we're not going to call it index but let's just say uh, this, we'll call this uh, the indirect indirect index. So, because this is indirectly going to be indexed, right? And we're going to have to populate this data. So don't don't uh, rush off just yet. So um, we're going to come in here and we're going to actually take this from actual one two nine okay and then we're gonna do that by one and then we're gonna do okay so then we're gonna do then we're gonna create a profile so we'll call this uh, st let's call this st uh, profile and we're gonna make this an, an array of data so we want to actually point to an array of data, right? So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to make that an array of data, but we're going to indirectly address that, right? So we're going to take the indirect address that we did here. That's why I named it that. So we can understand how we're using it. And then we're going to say equals. Then we're going to say equals. We're basically going to take the same thing here Okay, same thing here, paste that under there, and we're going to subtract one, and then come over here and add one right here. So I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. Because we're, we're, what we're doing is we're going to end the four, so the ending, ending the four do, then we're gonna end the if, okay, so now we have our statement there. What we're saying is if the one shot output comes on, we want to index this one through nine by one, right? And then we want to come in here and indirectly populate this data. Now, okay, so uh, we're gonna symbol that. Now, granted, this is, so I'll show you the data behind it right now. Now we don't have anything in this uh, index right here, right? We don't have anything in there right now. But what we are gonna do is actually fill this up. So let's go ahead and push the button and I'll show you what it actually transpires to. Okay, so we see that this index has a 10 in it right now. So it did a one through nine. It did everything it's supposed to. This profile 
is if we looked at the indirect addressing, which is this is 10, this comes in here and it, and it does that, does, put, produces a nine. So we come down here and we, if we, we come in here, to, we actually monitor, actually we watch the tags and we pull this up. Let's see, one shot, one shot. And then we come over here and this is a structure text examples. Should be in here. And let's see, we don't see our, we don't see the actual, maybe it's controller scope. It's a quick watch. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see the data behind this. It's probably populated zeros, which is perfectly fine. It actually populated one through nine into the system. And the reason is, is because again, we had zeros in there before, but we pushed the button and it indexed one through nine. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna populate, I'm gonna take all this down to zero. And then what I'm gonna do, because it does the whole loop at one time. It's not like I have to push it multiple times. It does the whole loop at one time. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna reset all these. I want you to watch as it populates this data. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit the button again and then you'll watch the data populate. So you see that, that data populate? Because what it does is it does the for loop, right? It, it comes in here and says, okay, so for this index, I'm gonna do one through nine and I'm going to index by one and then I'm going to come in and use this and it this is again this is the indirectly pointing to the array spot so if you haven't watched my array like my indirect addressing video that I did uh, probably a week or two back go back and you can go back and watch how to do indirect addressing and how to actually go in and understand how to do indirect addressing because again like knowing how to indirectly tie those two together really, really, really makes the difference in this for loop situation. So this, it all adds up to making a full circle of programming. And that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to build in a solid platform for you to gain knowledge from, right? And again, this is uh, coming in doing it by one. Now, if say for instance, you index by two, uh, you, you, would, you would have a completely different outcome, right? Now I'll show you that. Right, so let's just say by two, okay, and polish that up. And again, this these these windows get kind of huge sometimes. All right, so uh, we're going to come back in here and do the monitor tab again, and you can see that there's data in there right now. Right, let's push the button. Okay, so the data didn't do anything as far as that goes let's do it again make sure we reset these so I want to show you and now I could do a, a, a type in a first scan and do a first scan by that and put in all zeros in here but the purpose of doing that well I mean I guess we could go ahead and do that but I don't I want to make keep this video short and sweet I don't want to really tie you guys up you know 10 minute videos is about all we, we should be doing. So um, let's t push it again. Okay, you see how that had a different reaction because it did an actual index by two. So if you did one through nine and you did an index by two, you see it kind of skipped around a little bit. So you want to keep it, if you're filling by one, all right, you want to keep it by one. Now all we're gonna do is come in here and change that back by one, and we're going to populate. So you can do this um, in many different atmospheres. Like you can fill data, like you can fill a, an array of data as big as you want to, you know. And, and you can keep, you know. Again, the only caveat or the only thing you need to watch out for is the uh, how big the array is. In this instance, the dent is a uh, uh, an array of ten, so there's only ten elements. So again, if we came back and monitor that and we push the button again, then the data flows back in there, All right? So um, that's just the simple way to do a for loop 
on a structure text. And that's the best way to do for loops. Um, there's a way to do for loops inside of, uh, let's just say, for instance, uh, ladder logic. But when it comes to ladder logic, there are versions that the for loop does not work well with and that there are known issues with. Structure text, the for loop works 100% the same way all the time and it works perfectly. Um, and again, this new watch feature is really, really, really helpful because you can see what's going on even though we're indirectly showing some stuff right here because what you're seeing right here is again uh, the whole implementation of how this is scanned okay and how this is done so it's almost better to, to look directly at the data that's being loaded into here so you could actually you know have an additional segment down here to show that but what I wanted to show in this video is how to do a for do example as a constant or as a construct for the actual structure text in the environment of a Studio 5000 uh, version 32. Right, so with that said and done and that accomplished, if you want to know how we did the one shot, again, how we did the one shot input, output, and all that stuff based upon the actual trainer input, go back and watch those videos. And uh, if you got this, again, if and um, just make sure you go back through this again if you wanted to know how we do the for loop. This again is a single dent. This again is an array of data. So the single dent is pointing to the array of data and filling it. So again, that goes back and shows you how to do that actual for loop. So uh, with all that said, I will see you guys on the next one.